Hey, remember when I was gonna do a Q&A at 18k? Well, we've been there for like a week and a half, so I'm gonna do the Q&A now. Hi. <laughs> Mega Man model. Ah! <laughs> Asks, when you're not painting the world with all sorts of ink colors, what else do you like to play? There are other games? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. When I was younger, I really, really, really loved Pokemon, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. But nowadays, uh, I just kind of play what's new. Things that I don't get to play sometimes that end up coming up later. I, I watched way too much Undertale. Right now, I'm just hopelessly enjoying Animal Crossing, and I don't know if I'll be escaping Animal Crossing anytime soon. Woo! <laughs> but otherwise, I still like playing Pokemon. I really, really, really want to play Celeste and Hollow Knight, and I want to finish Luigi's Mansion because I, I never finished it. And I think people are going to be really mad at me if I never finish Super Mario Odyssey. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's do that one too sometime. Bamboo asked, when will actual mac and cheese be in the mac and cheese streams? In all caps, so you know they're very serious about this. And, uh, I mean, it's been there before. Astro used to make mac and cheese before the stream started. I've never had mac and cheese before a mac and cheese stream. I, I should really fix that. I've had tortellinis with cheese, and I've ate them while we're streaming. <laughs> Does that count? Oh, going for the hard hitters. Dreamland D asks, Callie or Marie? Marie. Pearl or Marina? Marina. Squid Sisters or Off the Hook? Uh, off the Hook we'll go with, because I love my girls. Oh my god, all the comments are. <laughs> I just opened the replies, and there's so many people being like, oh, wh why would you ask this? Or people are like starting to answer it themselves. Oh wow, it's just a big old, it's just a big old thread. <laughs> Iron Rock asks, what are your favorite and least favorite shiny forms of Pokemon, and who is your favorite Gen 8 Pokemon? Appleton. Appleton. Appleton's my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. Can't even... Nothing can hold a candle, or maybe hold an apple to Appleton. He's so good. I, I want an Appleton plush, or like something Appleton related. I want to get like stickers and charms of him. He's good. He he's just really good. But like, uh, shiny Pokemon? If we're just sticking within like even something simple like the evolutions, I, I hate shiny Glaceon. It's literally the same thing. And like shiny Leafeon too. They did them so dirty. And then like you have other ones like like Umbreon. You're gonna take a shiny Umbreon and a shiny Leafeon and make me pick. It's obvious who wins, and it's Umbreon. But like a really good shine would be like Azumarill. Oh, it's shiny Azumarill or shiny Celebi. Shiny Celebi is my number one. They're making a plush of Celebi, like shiny Celebi. And I don't know where they're selling it yet, but they're, they're selling it somewhere and I gotta have it. I have to have it. Celebi is my absolute favorite. Grant asks, here's a good one. If you could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be and why? Ah, oh. well, uh, one time when I was young, like at the start of college, I went to a knitting club. And I went for one meeting, like, like they gave us knitting needles, and then I didn't go back, and I kept the needles, and I don't, I don't really know where they went. I know I never returned them, and I feel kind of bad about it, and I never even learned how to use them, but, ah, can I go back and give them their needles and maybe stay at the club? Because that would have been cool. Fidel the Fish says, do you have any other talent other than, oh, <laughs> other than being one of the nicest and coolest Splatoovers? Bleh. I, I used to play piano, and I like to sing. Those are my musical talents. I really would like to learn another language again. I used to know Spanish, but now I don't, and that's kind of lame. But I'm pretty happy with being musically inclined and also just being able to enjoy myself when I'm not doing work. Turquoise Octoling asks, will you ever make a cookie ad? Well, uh, are you tired of not having anything to go with that beautiful, cold glass of milk that you left out on the counter? Well, just, just, just go over to the box, like, like this one over here maybe, and just open it and take a cookie and then boom, fixed, fixed your snack. They also ask, do I like pugs? It's a dog. I hope I know what a pug is, but yes, I, I do like pugs. They're good. They're good. Maybe some people don't know what a pug looks like? Here's a picture of a pug. Nordy asks, if you could learn another language, and it is German, why? <laughs> and if not, why not? Um, I don't really have an interest in learning German, although you guys got some real fun words. It's, it's a very stereotypical, like, oh, wow, I can't speak. <laughs> it's a very stereotypical thing that you guys have, like, those really long compound words that, like, blow people's minds. I think that's really cool, and I respect the language for being, like, so, so different like that. But I just don't think it'd be a language for me. I would like to learn Spanish again, and I really would like to learn Chinese eventually. They're both languages I feel like would be useful, mostly because I used to actually teach uh, English to people who only spoke Chinese. So that was really fun, but it was so hard to communicate with them because I could only really communicate through broken English. 
it'd be nice to someday be able to speak to someone fluently in that language too. Ketchup Lover says, The definition of a sandwich is an item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with meat, cheese, or other filling between them, eaten as a light meal. With that info in mind, is a hot dog a sandwich? A hot dog is gross. I do not like them very much. But I will agree that that does make it a sandwich. I feel like a lot of people around here would consider it a sandwich. You take a hot dog, you cover it with a bit of mustard. It's a sandwich. Cole asks, what's your dream Splatoon 2 weapon? If you could choose from any main, sub, and special in the game. Uh, I really would love to take a slosher and give it a burst bomb. And none of that burst bomb rush garbage. I really don't like burst bomb rush. Every time that I play it in PVs, you will see that I don't, I don't need to agree with it. I just want to be able to burst cancel with a slosher that isn't the try. Like, just, just, just please, Nintendo, c consider giving it a fourth kit. You know, just, just for kicks. Wink. Zavaldi asks, have you ever experienced deja vu at a time where you weren't really focused on anything and the feeling hit you like a truck from the middle of nowhere? Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. So sometimes I'll be having like conversations with people on Discord and I'll feel like I've gone through this like, like the feeling of having the conversation with somebody before, even if I've like never spoke to them or haven't spoken to them for like a long time, I'll sit there and be like, have I talked to them before about this thing? And the answer is like, no, it's, it's never actually true. But it, it's happened like more than once. And like the same person and it hasn't happened for a really long time and I can't remember like who it happened to but I feel like it's gonna happen again and I'm gonna sit there and be like huh oh, deja vu I should just go through like a bunch of my DMs like <laughs> and like search deja vu and see if I ever talk about it I, I feel like I probably haven't though so it's gonna keep being a mystery Wee. Slowpoke has a pair of questions here. The first one they ask is, were mac and cheese really meant for each other? And I'm not sure if you mean the food, because if it's the food, yes. And if it's the group of people like me, a Squidman, Undead, and Astro, absolutely yes. Squidman got us all together by chance, and over time we've just become good friends. And they make me so happy. I'm really glad to like have something to do consistently, like a day a week to hang out with them. So yeah, I think we were meant to hang out. And they also ask, when you started YouTube, <laughs> did you ever think you'd have this many subscribers? No! No! My channel, if you look carefully, actually existed for quite a while before it actually kind of spiked up. I had it for about, uh, eight, nine months before I actually started to try in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> and in that time, it didn't go anywhere because I had no idea what I was doing, no real purpose for the channel. I was just uploading things that I felt like I wanted to upload for the sake of having the videos there for me to watch, not really for other people. And then once I started to turn it into an entertainment service instead of a service for myself, guess what? It did better! Who would have guessed? David Schwartzberg gave a tongue twister, and me trying to pronounce this question gave me a tongue twister. So you guys can just see this one, and I will say yes. Saja asks, will you ever get my name right? Is it not, is it not pronounced Saja? I hope it is. <laughs> but Saja really asks, what first got you invested into Splatoon? Uh, I bought it for my sister. <laughs> and then I started playing the game too, and it just happened to be something we both liked. That was really it. It just happened to be by chance. If I didn't buy the game for my sister, I'd be doing something else right now. Maybe I'd actually be like a Pokemon streamer. Maybe I wouldn't have, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what I'd be doing right now. Because it didn't really change my college path by becoming a streamer or anything or getting into Splatoon. So, eh. Ducky Squad asks, how did you feel when you got more viewers? It happened very suddenly, mostly because of the one and only Mr. Tastic. And, oh, I was not ready. That's, uh, that's very, that's, that's, that's the simplest answer. I was definitely not ready. I've gotten used to it by now, because it's been a couple of years. But, oh boy, it was definitely a bit of a spook at first. But it's worth it, because I know I've made a lot of people happy. So if people keep coming back because I'm doing something right, then thank you for hanging around. Kingdom Key asks, if you could make a Call of Duty style loadout with one main weapon, one sub weapon, one special, and three unique abilities, what kind of loadout would you want? Uh, I guess, you know, give me a sloshing machine, give me burst bombs, Give me a Kraken. <laughs> I'm just making it a custom jet with a, with, with a sloshing machine instead. Give me swim speed, give me special charge, and then give me comeback. So you know if I mess up, I can just come back stronger than ever. D do you revive in Call of Duty? Actually, I'm gonna actually Google that. I stole this recording, I'm just gonna open it up. Uh, okay, Call, oh I can't even type. <laughs> call of Duty Respawn. Okay, so people can revive you by paying money. So maybe I don't need to come back. 
Uh, <laughs> give me stealth jump instead. Yeah. Because I'm sure that's how Call of Duty works. I love super jumping in my Call of Duty out of my big old helicopter. Yes. Jonah Hartwig says, what are your tips for starting a channel on YouTube? Um, I've said this before in other Q&As, but I'll repeat it here because I know people like to hear me say it. Do what entertains you. Do what you find is funny. If you start by doing what you like, chances are other people are going to like it too. You can follow the algorithms and try to follow trends that are big. Like right now it's kind of hard to enter into Splatoon. But, like, you still could make content for it if you want. All you gotta do is just market yourself. If you market yourself properly, you can probably do well, even in this market. I promise. Mark Wells asks, Do you have any history with the Animal Crossing series? Well, I'm really enjoying this one, because I know you asked if I'm enjoying New Horizons, but, uh... Otherwise, not really recently. I've played mostly Wild World and a little bit of City Folk, and I never owned New Leaf. But I played the GameCube one, so that one that that, that, that gives me some some old school clout. Yeah. <laughs> but but I really like this game, and I'll keep playing it. So thank you for asking. What was your favorite weapon in Splatoon 1? Well, I really like the dual squelcher before they took it and broke it into two pieces. That actually was my favorite weapon. The first time I ever got a piece of art commissioned for my inkling, it actually was a dual squelcher piece. And I'll, if I remember, I should be putting it on the screen right now. I'll remind myself by literally saying it in the video. Hey, Vic, you better not have forgotten to put it in the video. And there you go. Jen asks, what weapon do you mean and why? Um... <laughs> I really like playing the sloshing machine. It's, it's really fun. It's not great and competitive, the regular one. A lot of people don't play it. They'd rather play the Kensa machine. So when I'm playing with my teammates, I usually play Junior and just throw a lot of bombs and pop armor like a real Junior does. Yay! But my heart will always belong to the machine. It's my favorite for sure. Bub says, hey Vic, say hi to Pebbles for me. I'm gonna put a video of Pebbles right here for all y'all to see. This is one of my cats. I hope you're enjoying her right now. I hope I had no trouble getting a video in here. There she is, and oh no, there she goes! Goodbye, Pebbles! Oh! Matt asks, what is the story behind your name? It's a pun. Yay! Glass dares to ask, so, Pebbles, Tippy, or Ziggy? Ah, uh, no, I'm not picking between them. But it's Tippy. Ellie Puppy asks, have you done anything recently for singing? Oh well, I did put out a little bit of a parody recently. You probably saw it, but I'll link it in the description in case you haven't. And I also did a quick recording for Twitter a little while ago of a Steven Universe song. I'd like to get back into making more songs again on the channel, and hopefully I'll have one out before the end of the month. One of my New Year's resolutions was to try and get one, like, audio-based video out per month at least. And I haven't done a good job at that one yet, so let's fix that. <laughs> Elizabeth asks, what inspired you to make the ads? Actually, there's a very specific reason why I started doing them. I had been making the Victionaries for a while at that point, about like four or five months, and I was looking for a way that I could talk about weapons without having to spend, you know, four to eight hours getting all the footage, cutting it down, writing down a multiple page script that's so I could explain each weapon out, and I was like, how can I do this? And then I was like kind of watching things, and my sister and I were watching a lot of videos on infomercials, and I was like, what if I tried to make an infomercial for like a Splatoon weapon? And I realized that that was totally a possible thing. So I gave it a try, I wrote something down for the Rapid Deco, and I hated it. It was awful, it was garbage, it was trash. So I threw it away, I put it in another folder, and I said, nope, not working on that one. And then the Blah Blahver came out, and I was like, okay, let's try this one more time. And guess what? That Blah Blahber ad did amazingly on the channel, and I was like, okay, maybe we gotta try one more time with the Rapid. And people like that one too! So, I just started making the ads, because everyone really liked them, and I thought they were fun to do. And hopefully I'll be making more of them soon to keep you entertained. So thank you for asking, because no one's actually asked that in quite a while. Mr. Dolphin asks, what is your favorite kind of cheese? Provolone. That's a good one. Oh my god, another food question. Uh, Kappa Noodles asks, this one's kind of simple. What is your favorite food? Is it mac and cheese? It's not mac and cheese. It's actually chicken parmesan. And if I had to pick a favorite dessert, it's carrot cake. Two for one. Oh, Miguel asks, Splatoon 1 stream when? Maybe on the anniversary or sometime in May? That sounds like fun. But I don't know for right now. Kyle asks, what is your least favorite weapon to go against? A charger, because I have no self-awareness and I always die. Yay! Yordi asks, why did you read my question? This question, because I was scrolling down my phone and I happened to see it. Yay! 
Yvonne asks, if you had a different channel, what would it be about? Um, I probably would either make really silly AMVs, <laughs> or maybe I'd have it about singing. One of those two. Shane Mario says, if you went into the Splatoon world, what would you do? Uh, can I play Terraform? Do I like, get to become a squid, or am I still like a person? If I'm a person, I guess I like want to investigate the jellyfish. But if I'm a squid, I want to play Terraform. I want to see it like with my own eyes. It seems like a lot of fun. Noise Cheerin asks, what is your favorite butterfly third stage bug flying type Pokemon from Kalos? Hmm. Ben Jax asks, what slash what are your favorite music genres? Well, besides listening to whatever's on the radio, I really have a thing for jazz. Like, you know, obligatory meme. You like jazz? Because I do. <laughs> I really, really like jazz. Oofy asks, what is your least used slash most hated weapon? I've never played the light tetradules, and I'd like to save that for a video, but my least favorite weapon to use is probably the H3 nozzle nose. I just can't play it very well at all. Like the regular one. The, the armor one, at least I can armor and like be vaguely useful, but the regular one is just so hard. I, I don't like it very much. <laughs> Aliaf asks, what do you feel from video games? Like, what do you like the most about them? Well, I mean, I like beating a video game because it feels good to win. But otherwise, I really like the communities that get built around video games. People are so nice. And they're also just really cool to be around, honestly. I'm very happy to be surrounded by a lot of really good people in the Splatoon community in particular. So thank you for being you. Salty asks, do I have any hidden talents? I don't know if this is a hidden talent, but I have a hoard of paper stars that I used to make in college. They're like right over there. <laughs> That's about it. Can you tell me a story and make it epic? Okay. Um, in a world with a kid named Wesley, he could see through walls and that was Pretty epic. <laughs> Lila Han says, I'll subscribe. Yeah, thank you. Ryan asks, what is your favorite vegetable? I really like artichokes. I think those count. Hayden asks, would you ever consider going to PAX Australia? And I would say, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I, I wouldn't be able to go right now, but maybe someday in the future. What was your favorite video to make as of recent? Either the rat song or the blah blobber video that I did for Halloween. I brought in a bunch of friends and did a fun little collab with them, like audio style. I had Alpha, I had Casero, I had Octoling Hacker. It was it was good. I had Astro 2 doing like the uh, announcer stuff, and it was just a parody on the blob, and it was really good. If you haven't seen that one, I'll link it in the description because it's one of my favorite videos that I've done in a long time. Tails XX asks, favorite game other than Splatoon? Kirby Air Ride is definitely really high up there. Or Super Mario Sunshine. I grew up with GameCube games, so I'm really biased towards a lot of GameCube games. And I just, I really like them a lot. So one of those two for sure. John Westfield asks, what is your favorite weapon that isn't the sloshing machine? Please, just give me the jet squelter. Can we, can we buff the jet squelter so I can just play it all the time? Because I would. I, I would drop, I would drop the machine in a heartbeat if the jet was like super duper OP again. But I love pulling it out in like PBs and stuff for fun because the jet was like my first real competitive weapon. It was the weapon that like got me into comp back at the end of Splatoon 1. And it's still a weapon that I pick up all the time when my friends are like, ah, we need a backliner. And I'm like, somebody say a backliner. And then I just drop in with my jet and life is good. Bird Boy asks, is it soup time yet? And my answer is, it's always soup time. Go get your soup. Except right now. Right now is not soup time. Right now is actually the end of the video time. So hey, thank you for watching the video and for listening to the Q&A, and I hope you had fun listening. I want to start doing Q&As like every month. That'd be cool. So if you leave Q&A questions in here, I'll do another one near the end of May, and I can be like, hey, look, a May Q&A. And we'll see how many months I can keep this up. Will it be one? Will it be three? Will I actually keep them up for a good amount of time? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. I'm blessed and honored to have all the support that I get, and I'm gonna keep bringing out content. Once I get this Q&A out, I can go back to doing other stuff, which is what I'm gonna do right now! Bye bye